You are listening to the Think Yourself Confident Podcast. It is fascinating how people know exactly what they should be doing, but yet sometimes they do the reverse. They listen to their negative self-talk and get stuck in their own limiting beliefs. In this show, you will learn how to find confidence and clarity so that you can unlock your full potential. Imagine making money from your passion or reaching that dream that you keep pushing on the back burner. Natalie Plamondon Thomas is an eight-time international number one best-selling author and founder of the Think Yourself Academy, offering leading-edge courses, coaching, trainings, keynotes, and business mentorship programs. Welcome to the Think Yourself Confident Podcast. Here's your host. Hey, it's Natalie with the Think Yourself Academy. We are in part two of how to deal with the coworker that drives you nuts. Last time we talked about why it's important. We noticed that people don't leave the job, they leave the coworker that they can't stand or they leave the boss that they don't respect. So today we're talking about five strategies to get along. So how do you how do you start getting along with somebody that drives you nuts? The first one identify the trigger what triggers for you to get "Mm, they're getting on my nerves so try to identify exactly when does that happen try to pinpoint exactly what is the trigger because then once you know exactly what causes you to feel that way then you can create a a, a different response to this an incidence response plan kind of Okay, so that's step number two is create a different response plan. You know, all these practices that we do in case that there's a fire, (laughs) because if a fire happens in the building, um, we don't want our emotion to take over. So we're practicing in advance the behavior that we want to have. So then when it, it is happening for real, we don't go into panic mode and we have rehearsed it enough times so that we'll be able to respond in in a better way than if we start panicking. So that's what this means. Creating a different response is once you've identified your target, step number one, second part is create your own binder as to what it is that I want to do. How do I want to respond instead? So moving forward with the next strategy is how do we do that? What are you going to put in your binder and your in your emergency response plan? Is you're going to look at what are the advantages. So instead of always going towards the disadvantages, you're going to change direction and go towards the advantages. First, the advantage the advantages for you. So what's in it? What's in it for you, really? Um, and you are at your job because maybe you love what you do. Maybe you're really good at it. And, and potentially you have a paycheck and, and you like that. So what it is that makes you want to keep that job and wants you make an effort to get along with this person. So look at the advantages for you. And the second part of the advantages is What is one thing that this person has? And you can be, okay, I don't like them, but I guess, you know, they're really good at what they do. I guess they're, you know, pretty reliable. Or, um, you know what? Uh, I've learned a lot from them, actually. And maybe you you will dig potentially for a bit, but you will find one thing. And then just focus on that one thing that this person has that, is an actual benefit in your life. Think about one thing and maybe you will witness that they're very nice with their children or maybe try to get to know them, ask them some questions, find something that you may have in common. One thing that that will allow for a better relationship. So let's recap. You identify the trigger. You create your incidence response plan. What do you put in that response plan? The advantages that you have. And you say, okay, I love my job. I want to stay here. 
I, I, I need to get along with this person. And this is, this is one thing that this person has. Then you will become waterproof. Next strategy is find some ways to completely insulate yourself so that it doesn't affect you anymore. Because once you've identified the trigger and you practice, how do I want to respond instead? Because I want, I love my job because there's something pretty good about them. So now how do I want to respond instead of getting 